18 by Dennis Brutus. Just going to go over meanings and some literary devices. So this is stuff that I had, and I did even add a couple of things from your classmates here and there. So overall, the poem is about a yearning for hope and freedom. This, again, was written as part of his letters to Martha collection, when, which were written in while he was in prison. So he was yearning for what he was fighting for originally. He wanted to continue that fight, and he just couldn't because he was locked up. And he didn't have freedom. So I'll go by stanzas in meaning and literary devices. So the first one, um, he's just searching for hope and freedom. So he's just remembering a night when he looks out and he finds, he sees the stars. So, um, after an and, so there's some alliteration there that um, kind of alludes to impulse and hesitance. Um, rising and moving. So some parallelism to help with the cohesiveness of the stanza. And then he brings up stars for the first time, which will be brought up multiple times. So that becomes, stars are a lot of different things in this poem, but there's repetition of stars for a reason. Moving on, the second stanza's glimmer of hope um, through the cloudiness or the, the darkness of where he was. So he could see pinpricks of white. So this is great imagery. Of, if you look up at the sky, you just see, because they're so distant, they look so small, and pinpricks is a great description of what they look like. And he thought there were stars, so he's, he has some hope that there's some stars out there. And, you know, you think of stars, and people wish upon stars. So he's super excited to see these stars. And the next stanza... Um, he's diving deeper into darkness to hold on to the hope. Okay, so greatly daring, he's a risk taker. So he's, he was a risk taker. So inside of prison, he's taking risks. Right now, he's doing one during this poem. He's explaining it to us, which we'll talk about in a second. And then outside of prison, all the, um, activist work he did for, against the apartheid. So, because it's, um, he wants to see the stars better, he wants it dark, uh, but they were on. So he was taking a risk and he wanted to turn off the light, so he moved to turn them off. And within here, we have some great descriptive verbs in these action verbs, thrust, plunged, and then the next Stands we have scampered. These are great um, action verbs that also kind of allude to their kind of daring words. Um, so, moving on to the next stanza, um, he's kind of weak emotionally and physically, um, and he saw just a glimmer of hope. You know, just for a little bit, because he turned off the lights, he took that dare because he wanted to see a glimmer of hope. He wanted to see it out there. Um, he saw the splashes of light. Again, great imagery. Uh, we have personification of the stars flowered. And so making them come alive. And so because the stars were coming alive, it made him feel alive in the moment. But then all of a sudden, the hope and the joy that he was feeling dis disappeared. Um, so the next one was just taken away in an instant. So all of a sudden, he could hear the 
um, guards come to shut down what he was doing. So we have this is great literary devices. So we have the thoughted, my delight thoughted, the anxious, uh, throughout my delight, thoughted the anxious boots. So we can just hear them. Okay, and boots can't be anxious, right? So that's personification. And warning barked. Okay, so again, the super strong use of words. And these are all kind of not joyful words at all. So all of these words bring up the anxiety you felt and the kind of the darkness that they feel within prison and that the guards make them feel like. Which is why he wanted to escape to look at the stars. And then on the last stanza, the only thing he remembers now is basically the sadness and despair that he felt. Uh, so he just remembers all of the bad feelings that and the depression that he felt within prison, even though he had a glimmer of hope within there. Most of his days felt like this. So the stars were brought up multiple times, right? So stars can be, um, I'm, I'm going to label them as a motif. So a motif is when you have a symbol that's repeated and repeated. So the stars are carefree, like carefree living and hope and freedom. And it made him feel like happy. And he was willing to do whatever it took to feel that. That's why he went for it and turned off the lights when he wasn't supposed to. Um, so stars could also be within here a metaphor for freedom and hope also. But I think it's strongest described as a motif because it's repeated so many times. Um, and then global issue, to think, start thinking of it this way. So anyone around the world might at some point have felt a longing for freedom. So right now, we are all feeling that because we're all locked in our houses, right? So that's something we can all connect to. So when I read this poem again, I've read this multiple times, but when I read it again to mark to mark it up for you guys and annotate it, I was just read it in a different way because like that's kind of how I feel. It's like a, I I have hope that everything's going to be okay again, but like at the end of the night, I just turn off all my lights and go to bed and then I wake up and I do it all over again. So that's something that's easily could be presented as a global issue. Um, searching for hope that kind of goes within that too. Okay, so now you're going to read To Be Thrown. <laughs> 